hunt free in the air Sharp eyes everywhere Beware, Sky Hunter, beware Our story so far. The Falcon Gang had returned to the shop. Let's get them. We escaped through the back door. Whoa. The gang chased us. Badger caught Jackie, but Butch and I were saved by the Birdman. He turned out to be Tom Roberts from the RSPB. He'd been chasing Cat Mary for weeks. The crooks took Jackie back to the shop. You get the fork and I'll pack the eggs. Badger! Where's the fork? Here. Cat Mary knew where to find another peregrine. Trim, your French buyer will have a peregrine falcon by midnight. Now this is the plan. Meanwhile, we were trying to get to Mr. Trim's shop. Oh, no, I don't believe it. Tom's old van didn't go very fast. By the time we got to Trim's shop, it was empty. Butch rang Sharon to tell her what had happened to Jackie. Mr. Trim, I'm there now. All right, you stay where you are. I'm coming right over. Yeah. OK. Bye. Oh, if only we could have got here a few minutes earlier. I really feel bad. We just left Jackie there with Badger. Yeah, we were right cowards. Oh, don't be silly. You couldn't have saved her from those three. We could have tried. Oh, stop it. It's done. Now, let's try and think where they could have taken her. Can you remember the address on that telegram? I told you. I spilt tea all over it before we'd read it. I remember it started with MV. And then something I couldn't read. MV? MV, that stands for motor vessel. A ship's address. Good. Well done. That's a good clue for the police. I'll call them. Hey, wait, look. Here, there's some writing. Where? Can Alma Ida Val Eaton? Could be a message from Jackie. No, it looks like a lot of names, or girls' names. Alma Ida Val. <sighs> Doesn't make sense, does it? Look, it can't be anything to do with Jackie. But we can't afford to waste time on it. Any news? Have you got any idea where she could be? No, not yet. I think we must telephone the police, Miss Blake. Yes, and Jackie's mum. I'm sure it's from Jackie. I've got a funny feeling about it. What do you make of it? It could be in code. Let's try Trim's code. Spell it backwards. N A C N A C A M L, A, Amla, Nack, Amla. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, if Jackie was with Mr. Trim, she wouldn't use his code, would she? Hey, look, Trevor. What does this say? Can, Al, Canal. Now this. Maida. Jackie put the gaps between the words in the wrong place. Maybe that was her code. What's the next word? Chief Inspector Hardy. Tom Roberts speaking. RSPB. Put the gap between the E and the T, then Val and E makes Veil. So we've got canal made of Veil. Made of Veil is just at the canal. But what does Tun mean? I don't know. But she's told us where the crooks were taking her. This uh, Cat Mary business, uh, I'm afraid it's turned nasty. Mr. Roberts? Tom? Shh! There'll be hours. Anyway, suppose they won't believe us. They'd stop us finding out. Yeah. Yes, uh, they've got the falcon with them, as far as we know. Yes, and remember, we just walked out on Jackie when Badger caught her. I know. It's up to us to find her. Anyway, we won't be long. Come on. 
Actually, it was a pretty stupid thing to do. Yeah, we ran off without telling anyone where we were going. I know, I know. We shouldn't have done it. Well, I'm glad you realise it. Sharon and Tom had enough to worry about without you two making it worse. Ah, but it was your message. The writing on the mirror. Yeah, that's what I wrote. It's lucky it was so dusty. The writing on the mirror. Jackie wrote it. And she wrote it all in capital letters, a bit like a telegram. When did she write it? When the crooks were busy planning to steal another peregrine falcon, of course. What's Trevor saying to Butch? Now, if you want to write it down, how do you show that's what Trevor was saying? You use speech marks. Can you see where you put the speech marks? Think big, big, big at the beginning. Put a capital first and you're winning. Think big, think big, think big. Do you want an answer? Are you in the dark? When you ask a question, <laughs> use a question mark. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Are you in the dark? When you ask a question, use a question mark. What's all this, then? I'm designing a bird watcher's observation sheet. The question words are to remind you of the sort of things to make a note of when you spot a new bird. What? What did it look like? Where? Where did you see it? In the woods, in a field, in the garden, and that sort of thing. Oh, what about when? That's a good one. When did you see it? The time of day? The time of year? Oh, here's another one. How? How do you find out more about me? How? We look you up in a bird book. There. J. Ah. J with an acorn. He's as big as a pigeon. Oh, yes, this is a good book. The J belongs to the crow family. It's definitely the prettiest member. Ah! Did you write this, Butch? <laughs> oh, look, a rook. Yeah, rooks also belong to the crow family. So it's a sort of upmarket cousin of Jay's. Word watchers, do you remember the song about a rook in a wood? Look out, look out, look out for oak. Look out for who in your book. Look out, look out, look out for who. No doubt with who, it's good. Look out for who in the wood. Look for a rook in the wood. To read, find a book. To fish, find a hook. Look out for good old O. Look out, look out, look out for O. Uh. Look out for O uh in your book. Look out, look out, look out for O. Uh. No doubt with O, uh, it's good. Well, this is a nice book. Oh, look, it's a parrot. The wood I found in this book. It's a poem about parakeets. Parakeets wheel, screech, scream in a flash of green among the forest trees. Sunlight smooth their feathers. Cool leaves soothe their foreheads. Creeks are there for beaks, lucky little parakeets. I like that. Not heard that before. Where's it come from? Sharon lent it to me. Sharon is... Jackie's cousin. 
She had the same surname as Jackie. So Jackie and Sharon had the same surname, Blake. So Sharon's dad and Jackie's dad must be brothers. Jackie's dad is Sharon's uncle. Jackie's mum is Sharon's aunt. And Sharon married Tom, Tom Roberts. Were you surprised Sharon and Tom got married? No, not really. They seemed to hit it off straight away. In spite of how they first met. You know, I think Tom helped us get this bird bus job. So Tom's still working for the RSPB? Yeah. Well, what did he actually do? He was an investigations officer. That's why he called himself a bird detective. Take a look at this. Some rare birds, like the red kite, have to be kept under constant watch, especially when they're nesting. Even so, there are people out to get the eggs at any cost. The bird detectives from the RSPB are there to stop them. Yes, I've got alarm activated at site one. The investigations officers work closely with the police and anyone caught taking eggs will be arrested. Hello, investigations. Red kites, right. Okay, um, and these birds are being poisoned. What, deliberately poisoned? What's actually happening? What have you seen or, or, or heard about? The RSPB also gets a lot of help and information from the public and its network of volunteer bird watchers. No, I don't see them. I see the young one on the nest at the edge. It's a good nest, that one, isn't it? Here's another visitor's poem. The birds at Simmons Yak Rock are guarded all round the clock. The wardens are keen that the birds shall be seen, but their number's not given a knock. What's this, then? Well, you've been around so much, we think it's about time that both of you have one of these. It's your official identity card. Oh, thank you. It's got your picture on it. Oh, I don't like that. And we all have to wear them. It proves we really do belong to the RSPB. Remember when we first met Tom? Well, who are you? Yes, and what are you up to? I'm Tom Roberts, from the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds. But how do we know you're not a fake? Yes, like Trim and his English lovers in the Falcon Society. English lovers of the what society? There's no such thing. Look, I'm a, a sort of detective. Butch and I had to do some detective work on your code. Actually, it wasn't that difficult. Well, I didn't have time to think up anything more complicated. Egg thieves often use code, you know. Yeah, like Trim writing his message backwards and EG for eggs. Right. Your code gave us Canal, Maida, Vale, Tun. Yeah, Tun was still a problem, even though we'd cracked the code. Word watchers, you could make up your own codes to send messages. Or use a code book. But make sure the person you're sending the message to knows the code you're using. Time for some more story. We ran all the way to Maida Vale. There were lots of boats tied up along the towpath, and it was getting dark. Tun, tun, tun! Oh, what's it mean? 
Well, this is made of El Butch. Perhaps Tun is the name of a boat. He has a boat they could have taken Jackie to, but it could be any one of these. Well, there's a lot of boats. We looked at all the names, but none of them had Tun in it. Tunnel, but she didn't have time to finish it. You think so? Yes, it's our only chance. Come on. We crept into the tunnel. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh, it's spooky. We could see a boat at the other end of the tunnel. And as we got nearer, we saw... Mr. Trim! Should we get him? No. Let's make him come into the tunnel. The hunter in the sky. 